Okay, welcome back there. Had a little problem with the phone overheating. Uh, so I've kind of cooled the phone a bit and taken my case off it and hopefully we can keep rolling here. Um, so uh, all that you've missed here is just putting in the sine values for the various angles. So uh, clicking through on 30 degree intervals we have minus a negative one, flip to plus one, minus negative root three over two, turn into plus root three over two, and so on. There's one half, there's our zero, and then minus positive one half, minus positive root three over two, minus one. So then I just go to each of those angles and each of those radii. So negative pi over two with a radius of four, one, two, Three, four, and there was my first point. Negative pi over three. We got a three and about three quarters. And we use the fact that this is symmetric about pi over two to get a freebie point over here. Then I did the same thing with the negative pi over six, negative 30 degrees, uh, radius of exactly three. So I counted out one, two, and three that way. And then its partner, of course, across in Q3. Uh, theta equals zero, radius of exactly two, which means that I can also go backwards too and have an equivalent point. So then we finish those up and connect it with a curve. All right, so our next one, uh, Uh, lima cons. Uh, sometimes these have an inner loop, sometimes not. Uh, the format basically R is A plus or minus B cosine theta, or R is A plus or minus B sine theta. Uh, so we'll take a look at R equals four plus two cosine theta. And I'll ask you to uh, test with symmetry. So go ahead and pause it, see if you can find what type of symmetry this had. Okay, so we uh, tried opposite of r is 4 plus 2 cosine theta, try to get that back to the original, r is negative 4 minus 2 cosine of theta, I can't do any wiggling to turn that back into the original. Uh, so that told us we're not symmetric with respect to the pole. Uh, so then we can try the uh, polar axis. Polar axis, we just flip theta instead of turning up so many degrees we turn down the same number of degrees. Well the cosine of opposite of theta and cosine theta are the same so r is 4 plus 2 cosine theta. That is the same as the original so this is symmetric with respect to the polar axis. And then we can check for r is 4 plus 2 cosine of pi minus theta. And then we're using just the uh, information we learned in chapter 8 there. So cosine A minus B is cosine A, cosine B, flip the sine, and sine A, sine B. Oops. So then R is 4 plus 2 times cosine pi is negative 1, so opposite cosine theta. Sine of pi is 0, that's going to drop off. So that's 4 minus 2 cosine theta. That's not equal to the original, so this is not symmetric with respect to theta is pi over 2. So this time we were symmetric about the polar axis. 
So instead of going from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, I would go from 0 to pi. So 0, pi over 3, uh, pi over 6, pi over 3, pi over 2, and so on. All right, so I'm going to go ask you to go ahead and pause it and see if you can fill out that nice little chart. Okay, welcome back. So R here, recall, is 4 plus 2 cosine theta. So cosine of 0 is 1. So R is 4 plus 2 by 1, which is 6. Uh, cosine of 30 degrees is root 3 over 2. So 4 plus root 3, about 5.73. Sixty degrees. Cosine is one half. So four and one spits out a five. Ninety degrees. Your cosine is down to zero. So radius of four. Uh, two pi over three. Our cosine is now a negative one half. Five pi over six cosine is now root negative root three over two. So four minus root three about two point two seven. And finally at pi your cosine is a negative one. All right. We're a little on the big side for this. I'll try to squeeze it in. Yeah, we'll squeeze that in there nicely. Okay. So again, I'll uh, try to sort of darken in my compass directions just to make it a little easier to read. Okay, so an angle of zero, a radius of six, and again, remember, we have this little manufacturing effect with these guys. So, so here's one, two, three, four, five, and six. 30 degrees, and we're at close to six, five and three quarters. 60 degrees, and we're down at five even 90 degrees we're at four three pi over three we're at three five pi over six we're at about two and a quarter Where's one, two, and about a quarter. And then at pi, we're at two even. Now this one, recall, we are symmetric about the polar axis. So each one of these guys has a buddy across the way. And again, we'll just then connect those up with a curve so it sort of dips in a little bit before dipping back out. Occasionally, you'll see one that has a little loop in it as well. Just depends on the symmetry and the angles. And then our last shape uh, is rose. 
So the basic format, R is a cosine of n theta, or R is a sine of n theta. Uh, a here is non-zero, otherwise we just have uh, lines. If n is non-zero and even, there exists two n petals. If n is odd and not equal to plus or minus one, there are n petals. But like our other special graphs, uh, these uh, you're going to do some testing for symmetry and go from there. So we'll look at R is 6 cosine of 2 theta. So as far as how many petals we expect, and here is an even and not worth 0, so there are 2n, 2 by 2, 4 petals. All right, so I go r is equal to six by cosine of two by minus theta. Negative two theta and two theta are the same. So six cosine of two theta, that's equal to the original. So this is symmetric with respect to the polar axis. If I go with cosine of 2 by pi minus theta, I do a little bit of distributing there. And then just use our cosine A minus B idea. So that's cosine A, cosine B. flip the sign, so plus sine A sine B. So then R is 6 by cosine of 2 pi is just a 1, so I have cosine of 2 theta. Sine of 2 pi is 0, that drops those files off. So we are also symmetric uh, with respect to pi over 2. Theta equals pi over 2. So if we're symmetric with respect to the polar axis and with respect to pi over 2, we have to be symmetric with the pole as well. So the nice thing about something that has this much much symmetry is I really then only need uh, 0 to pi over 2. So let's go ahead and make our table from, again, just 0 to pi over 2. Okay, so r equals 6, cosine of 2 by 0 is 0, cosine of 0 is 1, so radius of 6. 6 cosine of 2 times pi over 6 is pi over 3, and cosine of pi over 3, <coughs> excuse me, we're at then the 1 half. So six by a half is three. Uh, pi over three, r is six cosine of two pi over three, cosine of two pi over three 
is negative one half. Six by negative one half. So negative three. And six cosine of two by pi over two is pi. Cosine of pi is negative one, radius of negative six. So on this one, there's one more angle. Notice that something happens here between these guys being positive, these guys being negative. Uh, so let's squeeze in what would happen at a nice pretty pi over four. So halfway in between the 30 and the 60 degrees. So then our r is six cosine of two by pi over four is pi over two. Cosine of pi over two is zero. Our radius drops to zero in between there. So once we get an idea of what Q1 looks like, we just repeat that with uh, the rest of the quadrants. All right. So that's my ruler. All right, so I'll mark my axes. Just to make it a little bit easier to see the compass direction. So what used to be the rectangular axes, I like to still mark those guys in. Okay, so at an angle of zero, we have a radius of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Pi over six and a radius of three. So one, two, and three. pi over 4, and we're back at 0, pi over 3, we have a radius of negative 3, negative, so the pi over 3 direction, but backwards, 1, 2, and 3. And at pi over two, radius of negative six. So down one, two, three, four, five, and six. So again, we're symmetric about pi over two, about the pole, and about the origin. Uh, so this point tells me I also have a point over here. This one tells me I also have a buddy over here. This one also would tell me then I have a buddy over in Q2. And if this guy's symmetric about the pole and the polar axis, I also should be able to go up that same number. So up one, two, three, four, five, and six. Same thing with this guy, I should go back one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we just fill in more and more detail as we go. Uh, so here again on the three, here again on the three, And here again on the three. So remember at pi over four, we drop to zero. So at three pi over four, we also drop to zero. Pi pi over four, we drop to zero. 7 pi over 4 drop to 0. So there's our pretty rows with the 2n petals, 4 petals. All right, so some recommended problems in 9.2. I would try out 15 through 29 on the odds and 39 to 61 every other odd. If you have questions, please come see me, or well, come to virtually see me. Uh, and please stay safe out there.